Oh, I have two research labs. One is for the production of mite toxin culture. So it's here. So in this room, I have a biosafety hood. This biosafety hood. Uh, what is it? Biosafety hood for uh, fungus inoculation. So basically, first step, we make the PDA, the potato dextrous agar in this hood. Then we inoculate the fungus on the plate, then get the inoculated plate, then we put the fungus in the rice or the corn. Then I have a centrifuge. Luckily I have another hood here too for you know dry the culture, something like that. Then I have a sink here and lots of like 500, 1000 ml of uh, mega flasks. Uh, for the culture production. Here's another badge of the uh, Olamaya flask. Then I have two shakers here. For, you know, when we use for uh, mycotoxin extraction to, for sample extraction. Then we have the balance to measure to, for weight out of the rice. And you know, I have lots of aftoxin culture here now. I just uh, blend blend this morning with my with my lab tech. So blend the, this is bromotoxin, this is aftoxin. And here's the uh, rice, ju uh, just the rice we used for the culture. And now here's a corn. Sometimes we used to make a bomb uh, solano. And also, we used to dilute the, the, the uh, mycotoxin culture here. Then all my mycotoxin culture are saved in the minus 20 chest freezer here. It's locked. So what I, uh, I do in the other lab. So this lab, I have a hood here on the bench pH meter and also four digits balance. And the cabins here too. Then I have a hood for sample preparation, extraction, clean up, and I have four I touch HPLC for the mic uh, mic toxin binder. Most of them are clays. Uh, for the evaluation, especially like absorption. Uh, for mycotoxins for in vitro study. So we studied the clays in two buffers. One is pH, pH 3, one is pH 6.5. Sometimes we did also in pH 7 too. So pH 3, pH 7, or sometimes pH 6.5. This is a mycotoxin extraction solvent. We use 70% of nitrogen and 30% of water. And here are the clays. We we evaluate the clays for their binding capacity evaluation. So here's the clays. Yeah. yeah so all the buffers are here, and we evaluate the, the the binder in the clay in the 15 ml tube. Usually we will start like 100 milligram or 50 milligram in 10 ml buffer. Then spike the mycotoxin at uh, uh, depend on use of mycotoxin. Mostly minus 2 ppm, but for them we spike at 4 ppm and T2 is 10 ppm. So yes, for HPRCs, here's the uh, the the grinder. HPRC here too. And I want to show you here is a 
inoculated aftoxin plate. Did you see that? This is for aftoxin. Now we have placed here too, I think. This is for vomit, uh, for vomitoxin. It looks like pink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuel cellium. So this is my lab. Yeah, I have a lot of contract service with the industry, most only on mycotoxin binder in vivo study and also make a mycotoxin culture for animal like pigs, chicken, lamb for animal in vivo study. Yeah. So yes, so that's it, you know, very welcome, very willing to collaborate with people, you know. Do some surveys, to do some research for the researchers. So this kind of research, I work with people across the states and also even the world too. I have samples from South America, Europe. Yeah. So yeah, that's it.